people have been asking me about where the artificial testicle research is going. So I'd like to give you a little update today. One of my goals in life as a scientist and physician is to create human sperm in a dish, essentially for cancer survivors who've never had an opportunity, to, will never have an opportunity to have children. So we have a National Institutes of Health grant to do this, and I've assembled some scientists along with myself to do this. And it's going to look a little like this. Now, it's not a testicle that goes into a body. It's a device that will make sperm in a dish. And it, inside of that device, it will contain several things. It will contain glue around the outside. It will contain some support cells of the testicle called Sertoli cells. And it will also contain cells to support those cells as well as hormone producing cells that normally exist in the testicle. And in this structure, which will be a bioreactor, we will add embryonic stem cells or adult stem cells, which are being researched heavily nowadays, as well as germline stem cells, which might, be, might have origin in the testicle. And we'd hope that this system would drive those cells all the way to mature sperm that we could use.